Hello arty people, I've been learning negative painting lately, so why don't we practice some together today? We will need some tools like this cheese knife, don't tell my husband, uh, a pencil, some paints, some more paints, uh, some tape, water and uh, yeah that little ceramic palette yes of course we'll need some brushes um, what I'll do is I'll just list all uh, the stuff I've been using down in the description box and um, so I don't have to kind of go through everything oh yeah what's up with the thumbs anxiety you know how it goes peep tell because my pants are not particularly aesthetic Um. oh yes uh, you gotta stay hydrated and I have this thing, which, um, well, won't stop me drinking paint water, but it will uh, stop my drink having paint in it, which is half the battle won, I guess. Okay, let's go. This is where the cheese knife comes in. Um, I have used a number of tools, including my nail, uh, a palette knife, a ruler, uh, can't remember what else, but cheese knife uh, is ideal. You don't have to tape up your pa uh, paper, but I always do um, because I like peeling it. Do I have to tell you about my unhealthy obsession of peeling the tape in every single video? No, but will I? Yes. First step in negative painting is sketching out your foreground objects. Uh, in this case, I'm doing leaves and also I'm following a spiral pattern because I like it. You don't have to follow a spiral or paint leaves, but if this is your first negative painting, keep it simple. I have difficulty keeping things simple um, and I tend to experiment on things before I've actually learned them, uh, which is kind of what happened with this painting. You'll, you'll see as we progress. Um, my friend bought me these paints. Uh, they are so freaking shiny. Look at that. They are amazing and I really wanted to use them uh, and I did but uh, in hindsight, probably wasn't the best choice. Um, and yeah, you will see why as this progresses. But in the meantime, let's wet the paper. Instructions for use um, for these watercolors that conveniently came with the watercolors. Did, did I look at them? No, I did not. Uh, should I? Probably. Maybe next time. I just wanted to use these because I wanted uh, things to be shiny. What can I say? I'm a magpie. There is um, nothing to be done about that. Oh, Jesus, I have left um, some pencil that I didn't erase, but never mind, it'll get covered up by shiny. It is at this point where I realized my fatal mistake. You see, with negative painting, you have to start light and then progressively get darker. And this is the point where I realized it might be difficult to achieve that with these. But um, will we be stopping? No, uh, I will be plodding on to the end, uh, seeing where this takes us. I mean, I was going to use a very dark color at the very end anyway, so um, here's to hoping. Another point I'd like to make here is the fact that negative painting is painting mainly with a negative space, which means that you cover the whole area to begin with, which I decided not to do here because as much as I love shiny, layers upon layers of metallic paint just doesn't seem right to me. I might be wrong, but um, I've decided to start painting um, within non-negative space to begin with. But look how shiny. And yes, using the hairdryer was a bit dodgy because it was moving the paint um, around quite a bit. But if I didn't, I would probably still be here painting um, this thing or at least waiting for the paint to dry because it was taking a very long time anyway. Um, so this is layer two. Layer two is self-explanatory. I have sketched some more leaves. Um, but what I'm trying to do is keep them behind the first layer of the leaves um, just to show depth, I guess, at some point. Um, and uh, what I'm doing here is painting in the leaves, which is not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to just paint in all the negative space around the first layer of the leaves. So this is going great. 
And this is the reason why this is an experiment video rather than a tutorial. Um, I will link um, a tutorial video down in the description box, at least the one that I watched that helped me understand how this technique works um, before I, you know, completely abandoned it and uh, tried to do my own thing. Um, and you can see just how shiny it is, but also um, how it is a bit hard to control the depth of um, the paint. Obviously this is layer three and guess what I'm doing? Painting the leaves and by painting, I mean sketching, but we will be painting also. And this is the layer where I'm actually employing the negative painting technique by painting in the negative space. I have to be honest, um, I have really struggled with my painting the last couple of weeks. Uh, I don't know what it is, maybe a bit of a burnout um, after reaching a certain goal or maybe just, you know, my mental health in general, um, taking a little bit of a turn. It might surprise you, but I sometimes suffer from mental health issues. And that, my friends, was a, a hilarious mental health joke because no one is surprised. I don't think I know a single person who has not suffered from mental health issues at one point um, in their life or another. And I guess in a way we are very lucky to live in a society where it is now more or less widely accepted that that is a thing and um, it affects most of us and it's okay to talk about it because that was not always the case, was it? And it doesn't mean that it's any easier to talk about it, this stuff just because we're allowed to and maybe yeah, that's why my voice will get a bit weird from time to time, just like then. But also I think it's hard to talk about this stuff because it's hard to find words because it's it's either, well, I feel things but I can't explain them or I don't feel things and I can't explain that either. I just find it hard to do the most basic things like painting or brushing my teeth and I uh, don't know why and I feel bad about it. And in the meantime, we're uh, going in for level four or layer four and um, sketching in some more leaves and then cheating again by um, mustering up the darkest value of the shiny paint um, just within that last layer of the leaves. Oh, and don't worry about me, I'm feeling better. Um, but at the time um, of painting this painting, which was now probably two weeks ago, um, I was not okay. Um, I can't say I was down. Things were just beige. Maybe that's why I wanted to um, paint some sparkly stuff. Did I just psychoanalyze myself? I think I did. It's time to put these away. It's time to put them away and bring out indigo because damn, I love indigo. I don't know why. It's dark. Dark like my soul, which was at the time quite beige. So, you know, we do what we can. And here I go, painting in the negative space as one intended. Um, and this took a long time, uh, a lot longer than I care to remember. Um, to be fair, painting in the negative space uh, like this is actually quite therapeutic and meditative. And I think I would have really enjoyed the process if I was feeling feelings at the time. Um, but what I can say is that I did not hate it. In, in my, again, I can't say, uh, say I was low. I was flatlining. Flatlining is um, the best way I can describe it. Luckily, I had a therapy appointment around that time that was pre-scheduled. So um, that helped. That helped and I think initially gave me a kickstart to kind of get out of it. I wish I can tell you more, but I can't. It It's hard, isn't it? Because even though we all suffer from mental health issues now and then, um, or, you know, all the time, depends depends on the person and the circumstances and um, all of these things, um, each one of these is a unique experience and it's a unique experience to a person and it's a unique experience to a time that this is happening to them. Um, just because I had a flatline in beige experience for a couple of weeks doesn't mean that next time I um, have a tumble <laughs> of my uh, mental health, it will be like that. Every time it's different, it's either anxiety 
or sadness or blankness or panic or combination of all of these things or just self-deprecation and um, self-hatreds all, all of these things that just roll up and um, make me wonder what is the point and I don't know the answer to that but hey look at the look at the shiny painting I also find it hard to talk about these things in retrospect because I feel like I have almost blackouts um, in these periods because looking back I can't remember I just can't remember <laughs> Um, and the only time I remember uh, this experience so vividly is because, well, um, you know, a part of it is on this video and also because it was happening in my therapy session. So I think that's why I'm kind of placed to talk about it now. Um, and yet I don't think it provides any resolutions or even insight. But maybe maybe someone else feels similar and it will make them feel less alone um so let's let's try and do another painting because well i felt like i had to redeem myself spoiler alert it didn't things only got worse from here and this next painting has taken a lot longer so um i have sped everything up quite dramatically because this video is getting already a bit too long and although disasters are best viewed in slow motion you don't want to see this in slow motion I really don't think it applies here but as you can see I'm actually using the prop technique although this is a bit too bright but it'll it'll dry out um trust me watercolors dry a lot lighter than um, what they look like when they're first applied so as you can see it's already lighter so the second layer of paint goes over the second layer of um, the leaves and uh, I'm applying clear water first and then pigment to it and I'm trying to mix it up in terms of um, colors to create variation within um, that tonal value so it looks a little bit more natural and um, also it's autumn where I am, hence why the colours. Also they were bright and pretty. And you know who wasn't feeling bright and pretty? I think we've covered that. I think you know. How long is this going to take? A very long time. It took a very long time. But we did get to the end of that second layer. And um, then we dried it. Uh, it's... No, stop showing us. We don't care. It's not shiny. Now, at this point, um, yes, I have sketched another layer of leaves and um, I was really finding it hard to distinguish between the second layer and the third layer. Um, so from this point on, it just got a bit confusing um, as to what I was supposed to keep and what I was supposed to cover up. And I was getting very confused and um, annoyed with myself, really. Um, and as you can see, it's... Um, it's not my best work. But what is one thing I keep banging on about with painting? You, you gotta finish. You gotta finish no matter how dire it seems and how beige you feel. If you started painting, you need to finish it. I'm not saying you have to finish it then and there. You can just walk away, come back to it tomorrow, a week later, doesn't matter, just finish it. I felt the pressure. I felt the pressure on this one to finish it because I was filming and I didn't put out a video in a very long time. And I was also kind of scared that if I don't finish it, it will push me from beige to, you know, worthless. And no one wants to feel worthless. Um, so I um, carried on. How long do you think this layer took? Very, 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 very long time. And indeed it did take a very, very, very long time. But as all things, this also ended and uh, I finished this layer and um, added some final touches, like adding in the spiral with some white ink paint because, well, I do like a spiral. I tend to spiral a lot myself. <laughs> It's uh, more mental health humor for you or me. I don't know who's it for, mainly me. If you're still here, I apologize. You did not deserve that. You deserve better humor. 
but uh, this is all I've got at the moment. So here we are. Uh, and of course, I'm going to add some shiny because, well, have you met me? Probably not. But if you ever do, I don't look like I like shiny, but I do. I really do. And now we've gone from bad humor to just creepy whispering. Why not? Why not? It's minute 15 of this um, disaster. So um, thank you for sticking with me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, why not? If this is first video of mine you're watching, I promise not all of them are like that. Some of them are less of a downer um, or not a downer at all. Um, it's just this one caught me in a bad time and um, I have decided that I still had to put something out because this is a big part of me and um, it happens to me more often than I'd like. Doesn't mean I'm going to talk about it all the time or any time, but it might come up. You would have noticed there at the end, I've added some line work because this painting needed more. Uh, it really didn't, but I think it is not a complete disaster. Um, neither is this, nor is this. This, however, is definitely a disaster. Uh, that one um, was better in my head. And this uh, was, well, too much too soon. That's what I call that. And finally, a success. So um, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again. Bye.